NBA comebacks in playoff history coming from 27 down in the fourth quarter to defeat the Memphis Grizzlies on their home court. And the Thunder and Mavericks have duked it out twice, right down to the wire in a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals highlighted by a game-winning shot by Kevin Durant in Game 1. The Magic surprised the NBA fan base by winning Game 1 in Indiana by a score of 93-78. to the Spurs and Lakers returned to action tonight after winning game one very easily, which everyone expected. Two teams that could very easily wind up in the Western Conference Finals, although the Oklahoma City Thunder might have something to say about that. Now, next I want to talk about Rajon Rondo, who's being suspended for the second time this season after another incident with a referee. He was ejected in game one for bumping an official. Now, this really bothered me in numerous ways, and one is being the fact that I disagree with the length of the suspension. And yeah, I get it, it's the playoffs, the heat of the moment, and things come up. But you bump an official and only get suspended for what, one game? I mean, he, suspend, he got suspended for more than that in the regular season. It's not sending a good, a good message to kids that follow him. I think it's an absolute joke, and I'm really starting to question the individuals that decide the punishments in this league. The other thing that bothered me was how selfish can Rondo be? The team is already dealing with Ray Allen injuries, and now have to play without Rondo in game two. He put his team in a terrible situation to try and come back in this series. And now speaking of the word selfish, I'd like to talk about Amari Stoudemire. Amari will not play in Game 3 against the Heat, and a return to the series is now doubtful. He's almost definitely out for Game 3. This isn't what the Knicks wanted to hear, although the Knicks have actually played better without Stoudemire on the floor. They're limping into Madison Square Garden down 2-0, with Baron Davis hurt and Shumpert already done for the playoffs. It sounds like Stad ended his season with one swift punch for the fire extinguisher. And then this isn't the leadership the Knicks were looking for. I mean, he's a team captain. They gave him a $100 million contract, and there's three years left of this contract, and he's only getting in worse shape. Carmelo, and Carmelo Anthony and Tyson Chandler are out there playing by, himself, playing by themselves. Steve, no Steve Novak's minutes are down because he's not athletic enough to keep up with the Miami Heat lineup. A lot's going to have to be done for the Knicks to make any run against the Heat, but it starts on Thursday. Back to you, Howard. Great job. Let's get up to Dan McDermott. Tom, do, are we ready? Uh, Dan, we have a special guest on the phone. Somebody wants to say hello to you. Hello. How's it going? This is Bob calling. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thank you, Mother. I really appreciate it. Hello. He doesn't have anything going on this evening, and uh, I'm sure he has a lot of free time to understand now that he's made some uh, terrible decisions regarding his franchise. <laughs> Maybe so. Thank you. I'm going to give it back to Howard. Radio station, 1240 AM, WG. 